Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video. More Survivor.io and another mega challenge today for you. This one being the Volcano Challenge. And I gotta say, this was a little bit chaotic with all the stuff that's fallen from the sky in it, but it really wasn't too terrible in my opinion. And as you can see here, this is the entering buffs and nerfs, player movement speed plus 40%, and random meteors fall from above. And these things are pretty freaking annoying. Now, it's the same deal as yesterday if you saw that mega challenge video. Light Chaser on the right hand side, all decked out, my best build. And on the left hand side, we're going no tech parts, all excellent gear with the void power to show how much of a beast it really is. Now, my game plan was to get this Void Power Evo'd as fast as possible and just sit in the bubbles and not have those meteors hit me. But unfortunately, I found out that the meteors do go through the bubbles, so you gotta be careful of that. They don't really seem to pack a terrible punch, but they can start stacking up on you if you're taking multiple hits. So this map does have the boulders in the middle, as you can see there, and they both are going to help you and hurt you inside the game. So just play them to your advantage when you can. Now, given that we are an up and down board, things like like the soccer ball, the drill, even the Guardian are all going to be great abilities to go for. Now, given that we are using the Void Power, I did make sure I threw the Trinity Charm on just so we can pop off those attacks a little faster. But what I try to do is maybe shoot two up top and then two down the bottom and just kind of work my way back and forth on it. Now, there is pigs in this, and at the one minute mark, we're going to be getting the pig elite. And it can be a little bit difficult if you get bad RNG, but if you do, just try to kite them away from you and just let the magic happen. When you make it to the three minute mark, you're going to run into the tusk boar. And I got to say, I struggled a little bit with this on the void power. I couldn't get shots off in the right direction. I was more trying to dodge the meteor and just kind of stay away from them, but I did end up grabbing the drones on this. Yes, they're not going to target, but given that it is a close quarters and just up and down, you still get at least a decent spread with it when it works its way up towards the top and the bottom. Now, I would probably say a good thing to get during this is the actual uh, HE fuel, just to make sure you're getting that extra range out of it so you can pop those shots off from a good distance, and it will help out with the Guardian too. But if there's one thing that this mega challenge is going to test you on, it's your dodging skill. Because like I said, those things are just popping up all over the place. Now, when you finally beat the test board here, this is going to be the next buff and nerf right here. 50% add on to your knockback, and yes, more meteors fall from above. Like I said, testing your dodging skills. And when you get out of that, you'll get hit with a whole bunch of green pigs and those little annoying little gray dudes that seem to be pretty tanky for the most part, but it didn't really seem too bad on this. But I guess if you're not using a wave style weapon, this could be a pretty tough one for you. Like I said, the biggest thing you're gonna run into is really your dodge, but you see there blue fire lizards coming out too. So they're really trying to throw everything at you, but they didn't really seem to be like, you know, chapter 46 or so where they were just taking, you know, six, seven hits to drop down. They are dropping pretty easily with these weapons. Now, moving on to the six minute mark, you're going to get hit with the living sand and that annoying Gatling gun, dude. And where I would tell you to use those boulders to kind of hide behind, it's a little bit difficult with having them rush back and forth. And I probably say if you can, if you're able to target, get rid of this living sand first. That's going to really keep you from moving around on things. But this is pretty much projectile hell right here of having everything going on. And I wish I would have been paying more attention when I was playing the void power side, but you see that boulder down there on the bottom. It's right on the line of the fence and check this out right here. He's going to blast into this thing and knock the wall out. There's an opening there. I wonder if I would have been able to run through. I might have to go through and try to play this and recreate this situation, but that might just be once in a lifetime chance right there. So if you guys haven't played this yet and you get that opportunity, let me know if you can run through the fence. It's worth dying for to see if you can hang out on the other side. And when you defeat them, we're now going to have player size and stats up, which sounds like it is kind of a good thing. But now that our size is going to be increased, we're going to be getting hit even easier with the meteors. And once again, random meteors fall from above. But from here, you're pretty much stacked on abilities, so it's nothing to really worry about, except for you will run into some elites. You see the kind of green zombie guy right there with a gun. He's going to pop up, dropped him pretty easily. And there will be a butterfly that's going to pop out at the nine minute mark. So just be careful of that because it will start hitting you with the poison. I didn't actually realize I was getting hit until I finally saw the chest popped up. Didn't even realize that I killed it on it. It did go pretty fast, but keep that in mind. That can kind of catch you off guard if you're not looking for it. But as you can see, especially on the void power side, I mean, things are just going crazy here and having the actual extra player movement speed just seems like everything's just going so fast on it but they're dropping pretty easily it's a great time to go and pick up some biofuel now i did go and actually try to grab the magnet on things it really seemed to help out on this board of not really having to chase back and forth it's not something i normally go through but it really did seem to help out 
And when it came to the 10 minute mark, we had the Noxian Lord and the Scorpion. And I'm not going to lie, it kind of seemed a little bit easy. I think the hardest boss to really go up against is going to be that six minute mark. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Have you beaten it already? Don't forget to join the Discord if you haven't already. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And remember, I pick my butt.